The fetal DNA test is offered from 10 weeks onwards, from 10 weeks any time up until delivery. It will help a woman get information about whether or not her pregnancy is at risk for one of the major fetal chromosome abnormalities. It is a blood test. It's a, a relatively small amount, a couple of teaspoons of blood. And in that blood sample, there is DNA, meaning fragments of a DNA molecule floating in the blood of the pregnant woman. The newer DNA tests are more predictive. Plus, there's a much lower false positive rate with the DNA tests. So the current standard of care gives a, an approximately 3.6% false positive rate as opposed to 0.3% with the DNA test. The great majority of pregnant women, especially the low-risk general obstetrical population who were the focus of this study, have a very low risk of having a fetus with a chromosome problem. So the overwhelming majority of these women are told they do not have a fetus with a chromosome abnormality and therefore they achieve peace of mind as early as 10 weeks into the pregnancy. So not only are they reassured, but they are not falsely alarmed that there is a screen test that's positive and they are not sent further onwards to meet with a genetic counselor or have an invasive procedure.